Good morning and happy Vlogtober day 16. My day started with the alarm clock going off twice, starting at 5.30 this morning, and I did not set it, so um, I stay in hotels pretty much every night, and I never check to make sure the alarm was turned off, and I just use my cell phone as an alarm, but um, I think maybe twice in the last year and a half since I've been doing this job, I have had um, an alarm clock go off that I didn't realize was set. So this morning I was kind of like, what is that noise? And I couldn't figure out how to turn it off because of course I had just woken up and was fumbling with it. And um, normally last time this happened, I just unplugged the darn thing, but I couldn't figure out where the plug-in was and it was a mess. So I, I hit a button and it went away. Apparently it was the snooze button. So it went off again like eight minutes later. Um, so I went back to sleep and then it, two hours later when my alarm, when my phone alarm went off, it felt like it had only been a couple of seconds. It was hard getting up this morning, probably in part due to staying up past one o'clock last night. I'm just doing some work and um, kind of getting my day going. Then I'm driving to see some distant cousins down in Arizona. This is Shirley, Aunt Shirley. Uh, we're thinking of you. Your son Tim is here. We're tickled to death to see him. <laughs> I just wanted to show you where I am, so uh, here we go. Oh. So. Hi, Becky. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you hold that. Huh? I wish you were here. What are you doing these days? Oh, I'm still working. I'm the accountant for a convenience store. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, Becky, good to talk to you. My cousins are building their dream house, which is really inspiring to me since I'm on my new life journey. All right, so what did you order? Carne asada for rice mm. and green chili. It is the best. Love it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Oh, I love it. Look at that. Mm. Isn't that pretty? It is so good too. Yum, yeah, we're gonna dig in. Mm -hmm. Two thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> we're at the Circle K. Um, Sarah's gonna get a lottery ticket because she's feeling yep. lucky. I won eight seventy seven today at the casino. So and I'm greedy and I want more. I think <laughs> yeah, I think that's a good sign. <laughs> and I am getting Pepsi. For your, for, a for your trip home. <laughs> yes, I have a two-hour drive, <laughs> and uh, the canned Pepsi is the best. Oh, it's my favorite. Mom loves can only cans. So oh, she does. Cans. Yeah. We're only obviously related. <laughs> it's genetic. It must be genetic. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I also want Hostess cupcakes. Oh. All right. Which one are you getting? Twenty-five days winning Christmas because I love Christmas. Well, my birthday's on Christmas, so let me That's get it right. for you. How do you have to I get want it? to. Are you I'll, sure? I'll, I'll buy it and you scratch it for good luck. Okay. And, and I'll scratch it right now. <laughs> oh, wait. What am I doing? Hold on. Rebuild. Thank Santa. you so much. Thank you, sir. The Santa symbol. Okay. No Santa yet. Well, uh, she didn't win. <laughs> so her luck ran out, I guess. But. Nothing. But she got to have dinner with me, so I guess, you know. Uh, hey, that, that was, that's the biggest win of the day. Indeed. <laughs> so I got he my road trip two snacks. He and a half hours to see me. And he does it every time. This every time I'm here. Time. Every time I'm here. I'm I got to come really and see you and Aunt cousin. Shirley. I know, you never come to see me. <laughs> I'm going to come and see you one day. All right, please do. Yeah. <laughs> I got my Pepsi and Hostess for the road trip. In Portland. I'll drive all the come way to there. to Portland. I don't live there anymore, but that's fine. Oh. <laughs> that's right. Washington. Yes. Yeah, okay. All right, well, hugs and whatnot. Thanks for oh, dinner. thank you so much. This was fun. Thanks for my ticket. Oh, it's just after 1030 and I had a wonderful time with Sarah and Aunt Shirley and wish I had longer, but had to make it back. So heading up to the room. Um, I thought I'd take a moment to just kind of talk about my shirt with uh, Tina from Bob's Burgers. My sister gave me this as a gift not too long ago, and so um, whenever I wear it, it's so funny. Um, people, usually the server at the restaurant that I'm eating at, will just kind of interrupt the interaction to say, I love your shirt, or she's my favorite, or whatever. And so um, Tina is also one of my favorites, although I'm torn between Tina or Linda. So. 
Um, if you like Bob's Burgers, let me know who your favorite character is. So I'm back in the room. It was a long day of driving, so um, I have family in, like everywhere. I travel all over the country, and wherever I go, I can usually find somebody to get together with, whether it's a distant relative or a friend from high school or just, or something like that, or sometimes friends that are also traveling, and I will end up in the same area randomly. It's weird, but I have family in Arizona, and I was only a couple hours away, so I drove out that way, saw Aunt Shirley, um, had a great time visiting with her. Her husband is deaf, so I had a bit of a challenge communicating with him. Um, I felt kind of bad about that. I was really struggling, but I um, have a few pictures that I'll insert here. So Aunt Shirley is my mom's aunt, and Sarah is her granddaughter. So she and I are on the same generation, and whenever I'm anywhere near them, I always try to go visit, because Aunt Shirley is 89, going on 90 this April, and I just love getting as much face time with them as I can, and Sarah's obviously a wonderful person. So I wish I'd had more um, more time to stay, or if I, if I could have seen more people while I was there, but it was a nice quick visit. Um, she treated me to dinner, which was really sweet of her. Everything was going really well until on the way home I hit a deer and it just kind of it just kind of bounced right off the car so um, there doesn't appear to be much damage but I was also looking at the car at 10:30 at night in a dark parking lot so we'll see tomorrow how things look um, I'm totally fine it was really small and it happened really quickly so that was a great way to end the day I still have some work to do for the day. I kind of hit the road as quickly as I could after my meetings and I just have a few reports to finish and whatnot, but I think what I'm going to do, because it's Wednesday, you can't really read that because of the lighting. That does not help. We'll just hit play. Wednesday's my favorite day because that means there's a new Under the Plum Bob podcast, which is the Sims podcast I listen to. And normally I'd boot up the game and play while I'm listening, but I think that tonight, I just kind of want to wind down. It's 11, and as we all know, I did not go to bed early last night, so I think I'm just going to listen to the podcast, edit today's video, and go to bed so that hopefully by midnight I can fall asleep. Although this is an hour and 10 minutes. It is the year anniversary of us sending out the very first episode of the show wow. oh my god you guys happy I mean, birthday it's the thursday but most of you listen late so it, it's fine it's like it's definitely our anniversary week i don't listen late yeah so i'm gonna crawl in the bed and listen to this and wind down for the evening uh, hopefully get this posted and i will talk to you tomorrow